Hello? Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I really like that music. Like, I know. I saw you grooving to it. I like actually need it. <laughs> oh, hey, look, we have a visitor. My cat is. Can you see my cat right now? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. This is Charlie. <gasps> Charlie. Charlie. Oh, my goodness. Kendra Spirits. What's up, Charlie? <laughs> Charlie. Oh, yay. Arlumi is with us, too. Charles, thank you so much for joining us today. I am. I'm actually looking forward to the stream, but I did have a nightmare about Oath last night. And you've assured me that we're not working with OAuth, is that correct? We will not deal with any OAuth today, I promise. Okay. I feel like, um, how can it be? But like, I, I will trust you. Uh, Arlumi, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, we are, what? Okay, let me introduce myself. Let me introduce myself. <laughs> welcome everyone to the Postman stream. My name is Joyce. I am in developer relations at Postman and I am based in San Francisco. Charles, we just met Charlie, but Charles, you want to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Charles. I am a developer advocate here at Stripe. I'm based in Seattle, and I am not a cat named Charlie. So No, you're not, you're not Charlie, unfortunately, but uh, I didn't realize you were in Seattle, so we're same time zone. That's great. And you were at Stripe. Um, I feel like Stri a lot of people look to Stripe I don't mean to dive into this very seriously, but I feel like a lot of people look to Stripe um, in the way you guys are as an API as a product, mm -hmm. as a model. I know in developer relations, I look to your documentation as a model for like how we can have interactive docs and, and that kind of thing. But today, I think we will be consuming your documentation. So it's kind of like a usability test. And um, uh, I'm looking forward to building something that doesn't involve OAuth. Hi, John's work alias. Hello. Yeah, Arlemy concurs. We look to Stripe for how good their docs are. Yeah, oh, exactly. So kind. Yeah. Okay, so um, when we uh, agreed to do this stream, I sent you an example of a live stream and I said, check it out so you understand the format. And I think it's hilarious because you actually did watch a stream. Do you know what uh, comes first, Charles? Oh my goodness. So we did intros. So I feel like that means it's in case you missed it time. Yes. Yes. Do you want to go ahead and sing this uh, through? Oh gosh. Uh, in case you missed it with Joyce and Charles. <laughs> I love it. That's you are the first person who has actually taken me seriously and done the singing. So I'm going to go share my screen. We're going to talk through a couple new things and actually just two new things I have. <laughs> All right, let me going to clip that. Okay, so two new things. I'm going to, um, can you see that? Or is it very, very small? I can see it. Okay, so two new things. One is a very minor update. And typically if we're doing these streams, we're doing Postman for the web and you might not even notice it, but when we're dropping links, of course we're in the web. So we drop a link to whatever URL is here. And in fact, I can't drop a link to this one because I'm in a personal workspace, but Working in the web, I get so used to sending people links, but I know a lot of people still use the Electron app, the packaged app. And so how do you send a link? Well, now if you're in the Postman app, packaged app, can you see that? It's very, very small. <laughs> uh, it's very, very small, but you can see I can copy a link to the collection. So this little icon appears next to a collection, a request, an API. And now I can actually send links to entities in Postman. So very minor thing, but I think it's helpful because otherwise it's like, how do you communicate? How do you point to where you're working? So links is one update. And the other, in case you missed it, is yesterday post. Was it yesterday? What day is it today? I think it was yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, Postman announced series defunding. Um, so yay, I'll drop a link to this one because this is actually our blog. Um, and you know, we are incredibly wealthy. We are uh, just rolling in cash and we're just gonna start making it rain. Just kidding. But uh, the idea for this infusion of capital is to focus on growth. And part of it is because Postman's riding the coattails of APIs and APIs are growing so astronomically. The other thing I wanna send a link to is um, we have our first graphic novel. So um, let's see. Yo, that is so cool. 
yeah. you know we got a publishing house i wonder if we can do some type of collaboration is it printed already um uh, there was, i saw a picture of it printed john's work alias to the moon postman's going to the moon so it's a pretty neat i love these illustrations it's about apis especially if you have coworkers that are like i don't want to learn but they'll look at pictures this is about um apis and the postman story but also the postman product but also about apis in general all right i think that's all we had for in case you missed it in case you missed it da -da 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 -da. okay all right so right are we ready to get started we are ready to get started we JW are... Banning, in case you missed it, you just missed in case you missed it. Welcome. You just missed it. You just in missed, case it. You missed it. But uh, what do we, oh gosh, Stripe, Stripe payments, API docs. What are we doing today? We are going to build a one time payments integration using the uh, using Postman or Stripe API. Uh, specifically, we're going to be using like the Stripe checkout API, so we can have like a conversion optimized form. Um, and Joyce is going to be doing it. And I am going no. to be, I am going to be helping um, or trying to help uh, as she does it, so. Oh no. Okay, so for example, if I had like a side hustle, if I had like an online store or something and I want to uh, handle payments, we're going to say like, say I want to buy a one-time payment, meaning like I'm selling widgets and somebody purchases a widget. And so they want to issue that transaction. Uh, we are going to set up the form for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. We're going to like have a form. It's going to like, you'll be able to just drop it into your site. People will be able to pay. You'll be able to get your money. Like it'll be, it'll be super great. Oh, making money. Okay. So I, I do have a Stripe account, but it's connected to the Postman. I don't want to accidentally leak our Postman like revenue or accidentally like pay everyone out on the stream. So I don't even have like my own developer account set up. So is this something, are we going to go at a pace uh, where people can follow along at home or is this more one kind of like a demo? Oh, we can, people can definitely follow along. Like like if you if you want to do this and you want to try it uh definitely like just like follow along we'll like set up a stripe account we'll like get our credentials we'll hop into postman we'll start doing all the things yes json work i said json it's JSON. john's work alias <laughs> john's sorry, work alias quit... please please follow along and help me okay exactly. uh do you say striped or striped striped striped, striped? okay yeah yeah. I say Stripe. You must be from the West Coast then. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Do I need to do anything? Um, nope. We just need to like go to, uh, let's see, we need to, we need to register. So that's like, you know, dashboard.stripe.com slash register or something like that. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my screen as big as I can. I'm going to take the chat off the screen for now. Charles, can you keep an eye on the chat and let me know if there's specific questions? Feel free to continue asking your questions in the chat. Okay, I'm gonna start. Please feel free to follow along at home. I'm gonna go to where? All right, so we're going to uh, dashboard.stripe.com. And if, let's see, there you okay. go. So let me drop a link to this in the chat, okay? All right, so you don't have an account, so you'll want to go to the don't have an account, sign up little okay. link there. Okay. And then just, you know, all this stuff. Okay. Do I need it? This is optional. I don't want to. Oh, it's totally optional. We don't need to know right now. Oh, no. So. Will people see my... They, I don't think if you type it, they won't see it, but... Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna forget. Oh no! It's not strong enough. You gotta come stronger than that. I'm sorry. Wait, what do I need? Uh, let's see. Uh... Okay. I'm gonna wow. do it. Do it anyway. Okay. I'm like very judgy about password strength. 
Well, you guys probably have to be because <laughs> you're handling payments. It's only financial information. Only, oh. okay. All right, so I'm here. Let me zoom in to Scotch. Okay, now what? Okay. All right, so we <laughs> are, let me. All right, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do, cause we're gonna be using like checkouts and checkouts is hosted on Stripe. Um, and it's like visual. So you want to probably do some stuff related to like, what's the name of your business? And like, if you wanna like have certain colors, you can do that. So let's go to settings really quickly. Okay. And the first thing we're gonna do is just like scroll down. Those are all our products. Tax. But we're gonna go. Okay. Yes, tax. We should get into that. Um, no. Let's go to account details. Okay, and so under your business, ooh, I have a business. Okay, I have to fill this out. Yeah, that's that's it though. I have to verify my phone. Oh, absolutely not. Don't do it. Oh, okay. Um, save. And click save. Well, in production, do it. But for now, don't do it. OK. All right. So we got a business name. Let's go back to settings. OK. And let's see. If we go down a little bit, let's do some branding. And we're choosing if, colors. Oh, absolutely. OK. Branding. All right. So you got the purple and the blue. But I feel like, I don't know, orange, maybe? Is this purple to you? It is to me, I guess, blue. Does anyone know the orange hex code for Postman, please? Is there eyedropper? <sighs> anyone know an orange hex code in general? It doesn't have to be Postman. <laughs> oh, does that work, Arlami? I don't think it does. Oh, actually, oh, yeah. does Stripe support that? Uh I don't actually know. Maybe. Oh, I no, wish. he was fooling no. us. <laughs> brutal. Absolutely brutal. Seriously, uh, does any or do you know any hex colors? F over and over and over again. Isn't that like if you I think if you I think you can like click it and it'll like Oh, is there a picker? I think so, yeah. Oh there my gosh. we go. Why didn't we do that? Okay, no, no, no. We actually have real Oh, but I can't copy from there. Who should I trust? Uh, I feel like somebody's pulling my leg because these are all different hex codes. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's okay. see. I saw two for this one. We're going there. Oh, that's kind of pale. Kind of pale, but we'll, I'll take it. It's basically, it's basically okay. right. Done. Branding. Okay. So that's it. You could add a logo and icon, but like that's for another time probably. No, no. Like, Hold on. If you have one. Hold on. I actually, this is a risky, this is risky. Let's just leave it there. Okay. All right. And then we'll just save our changes. Okay. Save changes. Yep. Is it saved? Yeah, it's saved. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. We're good. We're done with the, I think the only other thing is like, if you need like uh, your secret key, that's what we're going to need. So oh, like, no. Whether, rather than having to deal with OAuth, all you got to do is grab your secret key. So for that, you go to developers. Oh, no, wait. Oh, OK. Do I need a shield? Uh, maybe. OK, so honestly, I, we just signed up for this account. I don't have my real store hooked up yet. Like, is there anything I, bad that can happen? Like. Worst case scenarios, not really. Like you'll just roll your key after the uh, thing. And I don't know, people can make test API calls. That's okay. it. They can't even okay. move real money. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I like this little um, dashboard. Make a test payment. Here's my publishable, publishable key. Mm -hmm. Public key, my secret key. You guys yeah, want to see this? Yeah, go ahead and grab it. Can I reveal it? I don't know. Okay. Let me put a shield. Let me. Okay, whatever. Charles says it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Let me hide it. Ah, how do I hide it? Okay, now what? Now what? Talk quickly. Okay. Exit the screen immediately. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay. So now we have everything we need. It's on your clipboard. So yep. the only thing we have to do now, I think, is like go to Postman and like get started, go to the Stripe workspace grab the collection, 
and just like get to work. But we did everything we needed to do here. Okay, so let's let's go to Postman. And what I'm building right now, I think I want to set up a new workspace. And uh, should I do this in a public workspace? We've already revealed the keys. We have. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because like if you do it in a public workspace, I can like I'd be able to copy Help. it. Right? Yeah. Okay. Help and, and and copy it. Yeah. I feel like you're living on the edge, but let's try it. Okay, let's go to DevRel Republic. I'll drop a link to this if anybody wants to follow along. Okay, so we're here, and I have my key uh, attached mm -hmm. to my clipboard. But do I do you just want me to start like a blank collection, or what do you want me to do? Yeah, so let's see. Where should we start? I think the first first place we should start, since we just like have the key, let's yeah. just put that somewhere. Um, okay. uh, we have we actually have our own like template environment, but it's like only one variable. I think you could set it up in the global environment. Is that like a best practice? Is that wrong? Yeah. Well, so if I set it up as a global, it'll be available in this entire workspace. Okay. And then since we're in a public. <laughs> workspace everyone will have access to it which is fine i could still use current value let's um let's set it up as a global living oh, on oh. the edge absolutely living on the edge we are going to roll that key so quickly after oh, this well I, I fear somebody's gonna be mischievous and take us down oops that's not it oh no wait i have it to the side i i used my clipboard well that seems long is that yeah. right? That's right. See, oh. also, like, probably, unless someone caught that just that frame, they're not going to be able to get it. It's a long key. I well, feel I guess. overconfident. OK, so I'm in a uh, public workspace. So because I have it in current value, this will not get shared. But at least this um, one will. So I save it. <gasps> Did this go away? Yeah, this. Sir. Oh, I think I it was my bad. It's good now. Okay, okay perfect. So let's see. Um, let's see what, what's the next step here. I guess we should like uh, pull down the Stripe Dev collection. You guys have uh, API reference, right? Uh, we do. We do have okay. API reference. Should I search for it here? Yeah. Um, let's let's see. Well, do we have a API reference? We're gonna see. Grab the uh, most recent one without a date. Or okay, so I guess this is your workspace. Yeah. Your public workspace. I'll drop a link to this as well. Oh gosh, we have some trolls here. Thanks, Sean Ryan Keegan. Okay, so we are here in the Stripe public workspace. I just dropped a link to it in the chat. And you guys have a, oh, here it is. Okay, so you probably use secret underscore key throughout yep. your collection, I'm guessing. So I'll have to update that. Yeah, and then we will. you guys have collections. Yep. So yeah, that one is the most recent one. So we can just pull that one down or fork it, I guess, right? Okay, yep. Ooh, nice job with the forks. Yeah, that one's a new too. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna fork this to the workspace, the public workspace that I was working in. And I'm gonna watch it to because in case there's changes, I think I want to be able to pull yep. just to stay up to date. Forky fork. Do you Anyone live near a bus room? stop? I hear a bus. Oh my God. Can you hear that? Oh, my oh ears. My me... I have eagle ears. Maybe I need to close my. No, 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 no. Please don't. I love ambient okay. sounds. Okay. So well, I fork this to my workspace. So this is my little version, but I. You know, I watched it so I can tell. All right, what are we building? Okay, so we are going to build a checkout and we're gonna do it in one API call to start. So question, is there like a way to make a new folder and then like have it at the top? So you have some space to play around with because we got a lot of API endpoints. Yeah, you want me to create a folder inside the Stripe API reference? Yeah. I actually, when I do it, I generally like make a completely new collection and just like copy them over. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, 
new collect. Oh gosh, it. You guys have so many endpoints. Growing every day. Okay. Well, let's just create a new collection then. We'll call this one Striped Checkout. And I'm going to star it and bring it to the top just to make it a little bit easier to work with. And it's empty right now, but you want me to. So we are going to yep, check out and we got all the endpoints, but we're going to create a checkout session. So let's duplicate that one. Okay. Duplicate and it and then I'll drag. Oh no. There. There. <laughs> How do I. Uh... I don't know. Oh, whoa. I just did it wrong. Ah. Do, 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 do. Okay. It's like a tour of our APIs. It's great. You guys have some Sigma scheduled queries? Yeah. That okay. one's my favorite. So, okay. All right. So here's where the magic happens. What do, what do we need to do here? Okay. So we need to authenticate our request. So. And we also need to add the base URL. Base. base URL. So we got some variables we got to add. Oh my here. gosh, Arlami is a genius. <laughs> Hold on. What's, what's going on? I so we were in C for checkout. So I instead of scrolling through the rest of the alphabet, I could have just put my collection at the top. Never mind. Lesson for lesson for another day. Okay. So you need auth. Yes. Let's do it at the collection level. Okay. So this the request inherits auth from the collection. So let's go to the collection and do mm -hmm. auth type. So we use bearer token. So let's see. And then we can just use your global variable for the token. It's like stripe. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> OK. And OK. And I don't know. We save it. I always forget to save it. I literally yes. always forget to save yes. it. Yes. And let's see, uh, variable, we need the uh, base URL. I think that's like. Uh... So honestly, like uh, we have Charles here, so amazing. But if I were like, hmm, how do they handle the auth? I would go to their reference collection and see like, OK, here's how they handled it. And if I go under variables, here's their base. Is that the one? Yep. OK, so now I'm going to go back to Okay, let me just collapse this and put it in as a, I'm sorry, do you remember the um, syntax? Was it camel case? It was camel case. OK. It's, yeah. I feel like Save. my. Save. Yeah. Let's see. So now we're subbing in the base URL. We have auth inheriting bearer token from mm -hmm. the collection. And we're posting, so, well, uh, OK. <laughs> And now we just need to fill out all of those. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> now we just need to like fill out some of those parameters. OK, so let's see. These are required. So those two are required. I am. I think my garbage guy is going extra hard right now. I know so it's gonna, lovely. It's city noises. Oh, my goodness. I live in the middle, the middle of West Seattle. Um, let's see. So for OK, so this one is the URL. Let me drag this over a little. Yeah. Whoops. Awesome. Whoops, I did. Oh. OK, direct okay. it to if they return. Cancel URL. Yes. So the way the, the way that checkout works is like you redirect to this checkout page, right? And then after the end customer like either makes the, the someone on the stream says something about a garbage collector truck, and it's hilarious. Um, there we go. I love it. <laughs> Last week we hacked my Roomba, so that would be amazing. I bet a lot of municipalities have garbage truck. No, maybe to track the whereabouts. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so this is like a callback almost. It it is like when when they finish, if they cancel the payment, then they go to that cancel URL. And if they finish it, they go to the success URL. So uh, what we're going to do is what I generally do with these is just like the cancel URL. I just use example.com slash cancel and success. It's like HTTPS example.com slash success. Sorry, say it again. Um, 
Uh, same link, except, uh, you know, the page is going to be cancel or success. So that would be like slash success. So these aren't real pages is what you're telling me. Oh, they're not real at all. Did I spell that wrong? Uh, I think you're missing a C. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, it looks weird, but there's no like squiggle under it. Let's see. And then, okay, so we got our checkout session. We know where the customer is going to go after they buy the thing. But in order for us to be able to like generate the form, we need to like have a product. So the next step is going to be to like fill out the line item information. And line items just being like the things that are being purchased. So if we scroll down, that here oh, we go. It's line gosh. items. And let's like make that part a little bit bigger so we can see what they're called. The keys row. Line item. Adjustable quantity enabled, maximum, yeah. minimum amount, currency description. Yeah. So let's see. We're going to use the price data. So the line items, array, price data, hash to like build out our information. So for uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the currency. So we're going to go with USD. So we can just change that to USD. And let's see. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves, we're going to fill in some like product information, like the name of the product. And can we like make the key value, the key row bigger? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly, I can't drag on the middle bar. I have to drag on the header. Ah, oh, no. But like, I mean. We don't need the descriptions anymore, though. Wait. Well, oh, they might be useful. OK, where am I? Line? items there product okay okay so we're gonna go with product name and as opposed to product okay we're gonna build them out so we are going to call it i don't know whatever we want to call it oh i have an idea for a tick tock unicorn i don't want to say what my idea is it's too late i already said it what's the product so far Stream, what product do we want to sell out of our Stripe side hustle? Or Charles. <laughs> uh, hoodies? Okay. Hoodies? Hoodies? Hoodies are always cat outfits? Sure. We're thinking alike. I like it. Okay. Cat uh, uh, outfits? Costume? Costumes. Okay. It's just string, right? Yep. Just okay. a string. Um, and we don't need a description because the name is perfectly descriptive. Okay. So we can skip that. And if okay. we go down a little bit, a little bit more, let's see, we scroll down, we scroll down. Okay. So the next one is going to be line items, price data, unit amount. And that's like the price. Uh, that one's like right there. Yeah. And that's going to be an integer. And like the thing with Stripe <laughs> is like the amounts are always in like cents. So how much should this cat costume cost? Um, like 200 cents. Yes. <laughs> you know what's silly? $200, you guys did a, me. you guys did a, an amazing job, um, documenting this. You literally have the data type as the value and I'm looking in the description for your data type. Okay. So this is an integer and you're saying 200 cents is too little. So oh, that's I don't know, like, oh, socks? We have socks. a cat socks. <gasps> cat socks. OK, then 200 cents makes sense, in, in my opinion. I feel like that's a good one. Cat socks. These are socks for cats. Perfect. OK, so what, Where did what, it go? what else do we have? Uh, oh, 200 cents. Let me make it 200 cents. OK? Yeah, that's reasonable. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we got our price. We got our name. We got a price product data. We need to say how many of the thing we're selling. So like if we go to line items quantity right there, uh -huh. uh, how many of these are we selling in our checkout? You get a pair. Oh, I... one pair of cat socks. Oh, wait, cats have four feet. Um, Gotta four, get... they get four Perfect. quantity. Perfect. So that was four individual socks there. Yes. Perfect. All right, 
And okay, so we got that. The next thing we Willie, need to do... Willie Geertz wants us to do a two twofer. Okay, so we gotta do eight in that case. <laughs> okay. We're making some assumptions about the cats though. We don't know that they have. You of know? course, of course. Not everyone has four feet. Yeah. I had a I had a friend with a cat like that. I don't know. With four feet? No, three feet. Oh three feet. I love yeah. three footed cats. Right. Okay. So we're selling eight cat socks for two hundred cents yes yep okay so let's see um what else do we need uh we need the moat so we so checkout can do like multiple things like you can do single time payments and you can do like subscriptions so uh we need to tell checkout that this is not a cat sock subscription okay. but like Ooh. an individual one time purchase. purchase okay so if we scroll all the way down to like mode mode see. There we go. Mode. And we set it to payment. We're going to be good. So now we're in payment mode. And then the last thing we need to do is like tell checkout what types of payment forms, what forms of payment we're going to take, like cards. Okay. Right. So we need to go to payment method options. Let's go down. Go down here. Okay, I'm in the eyes. There. Method options. Uh, is that the wrong name? Let's scroll down some more. I, I think I'm, that may have messed that one up. Let's see. Do we need to drag this again? Oh no, let's keep going. Well, I think, I think I got the wrong one more? name. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Payment method types. types. There we go. Yes. So let's just call that one card. Cards. Card? Well, I think it's cards. We probably should be precise. Don't you think? Oh, hundred percent. It'll yell us. <laughs> it'll tell us if we're wrong. I love how um, Chris Trag has finally chimed in with the Postman hex code. So when we're back on the branding page, we can update it to true Postman Orange because right now I think it's a little light. Uh, Willie Geertz, cat socks as a service. Yeah, subscription model. This is a legitimate business model, I'm pretty sure. And ooh, so we're setting up a one-time payment now, but clearly that's because we want it to be a one-time transaction. So there is a way to set up subscription service, right? A hundred percent. We just have to change the mode, I think to like subscription. Okay. And uh, we changed like two things and then it's a it's a cat subscription service. Okay, so let's start off with one-time payment. Okay. Card, let's try. Is that it? I think so. Let's okay. see. Send, wait, is it fully up? Do I expect this to work? I, I expect it to work. Bad request. Oh, it's error. Let's see. Um, okay, it's supposed to be card. My bad. Oh, see? Oh, that's a very helpful error message. So we're going to go back to the type and put, well, I guess I didn't need to copy that to my clipboard. Try it again. You think that's it? Do you think this I will hope work? So. Oh, look at all these payment. I could go by WeChat Pay. You could. Or all these other ones. Euro or Pay, Afterpay, like get paid in pay. Euros. Yep. Alipay. Okay, 200, okay. Second Let's time's go. a charm. Very nice, very nice. Okay. All right. So I think the next step, okay. So like, let's like, so the, the way the flow would work is like you get this response, right? And if you scroll to the bottom, you get like a, a URL. And that URL is the form you just generated. Okay, so I should go to it? Oh, 100%. Should I click it and do it in Postman? Will it work in Postman? Uh, is that a feature? Because if it is, I'm all well, about it. If it's just like, wh what will happen here? So I click the URL, it opens up a new tab with this request. It'll make a get request. Will anything happen? Mm, I guess it'll get the HTML. That's, yeah, there we go. Oh, if that, if that actually shows. Preview. Yeah. Wait, let's collapse the head and look at the body. Okay, this is a rabbit hole that I don't want to go down. Let's just go to oh, this. Yeah, let's just go to it. Let's just go. It's, it's. All right. Oh, and all wait, let me, let me paste this here in case anybody wants to um, buy my cat socks. Yes. Oh, yes. Arlami is saying there's no JavaScript. So if your page was reliant on JavaScript, um, that is a clearly not going to work in Postman. Okay, so, yeah. so wait, $16? Yeah. Yeah, because it's two, eight, eight socks, two dollars each. Math checks out. I see. 
$2 each quantity. I was thinking it was $2 for a pair of socks or for oh, no. eight socks rather. Oh, okay. No. We're, uh, well, this is we're fancier expensive. than that. Can I set it? Can I update it by updating it now? Uh, you'd have to make an, another API call. So like this, the thing about this form is like, uh, it's a test form and it's like short lived. It lives for five minutes. So if you don't oh. do anything with five minutes, it just like airs out and okay. it's one time use only. And we have a comment about manufacturing costs in the US. That's yes, real. they're hand knitted in, uh, you know, in Portland somewhere. Exactly. Okay, so it was a post to create this test mode. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a transient form just to make sure everything looks correct. And if I wanted to create a new one, I would just submit that post again with different credentials to create a new test mode. 100%. Okay. Should we do it? I need to make oh. these cheaper. This is too expensive. Definitely. Okay, so I, mean, I... I come back. Oh, no. Oh, I'm in the wrong tab. Let me close this one and go back to our params. Leave our payment type the same. We're looking for line item. Yep. All the way to the top. Okay. Here? So, yeah. So that's the amount. Yeah. But so like right now, it's like eight individual socks. Oh, no. We have to do math. Let me say 10, $1 per sock. Or even 50 cents. 50 cents per sock. Uh, instead of doing math, let's just go ahead and send it. Yep. Create this. <laughs> go to this new test URL. Go to our new test form. $4 seems reasonable for Much eight more reasonable. cat socks. Yes. Okay, sounds good. All right, perfect. So that's it. Like we, we've completed. I mean, we could build on top of this for sure. Uh, we can make it more, we could do taxes. We could like, no, we could like, you know, allow people to save cards. But the thing is, is like, I'm looking at the stream and the people want subscriptions. So <laughs> they want more socks. Okay. Exactly. Um, so wait, so Charles, this is the, this is a test mode, but if I'm literally building out my app, I'm building out my web page or whatever, how do I get that on my I mean, is it's not this URL, right? It's not. How do I get this code into my app? How would you get this code into your app? How so, would I get this form into my app? Oh, 100 percent. I mean, it is definitely redirect based. So. I mean, we could we could take this and then like put it inside an app and I could I could show you that. Should we do that or but otherwise, okay, so like, hold on, let's ask the chat because I know what I want to do. And mm -hmm. I also know that you have like a bazillion things that we could do. Okay. So Willie G is saying use Stripe API as a calculator. Yes, yes. I'm just not good at mental math. That's fine. <laughs> um, in taxes. Yeah. So, okay. Arlami has a vote for doing taxes, not doing taxes, but calculating tax and payment. Oh, uh, here. I kind mm -hmm. of want to see how do I roll this into my own application. I also kind of want to do a subscription. So let us know what you want to do. Um, but Charles, you are our guest. So what are we doing next? I mean, as Arlami has like, you know, seen, I am very, very passionate about taxes. However, um, before we do that, I think it's like useful to see this in context. So let's like put this, oh my goodness, Sean, Sean Ryan Keegan also wants subscriptions. Okay, fine. Let's do the subscriptions first and then let's put it into an app. Okay. So into I'm like in my webpage. collection to create a session and oh, I should have created a separate. Well, okay, go ahead. Tell me what to do. Okay. So let's um let's duplicate this, I guess. The uh, session? Yep, we'll duplicate it cuz we're going to we're going to reuse most of this stuff and we can just like rename it create a session subscription or something like that. And then this one will be one-time payment. 100%. Okay. Okay. So if we hop in here, we're like 80% done. But what we need to do is first we need to go up to the line items and let's see. 
uh, I'm flying by. Recurring? Here. Can you see yeah. that? Do I need to zoom in more? I think it's I, that one. Interval count or interval? It was like another one. Attacks. Uh, Let me drag this so you can actually see the full key name. Yeah. Uh, let me see. So I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be very vulnerable here, and I'm just going to say that I do not know how to do this one by heart. Yeah, so, let's just try it out. Yeah, let's um, let's see. Inner, oh, are you looking up the documentation? I mean, the I mean the docs are supposed to be pretty sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm happy to Google on the on the screen share too if you want me. Yeah, to. let's do that. Okay. I was going to try and grab the link or something. Wait, actually, let's take a look at your docs because it's been a while since I've looked there. How do I get yeah. there? Okay, so go to no, let me just Google stripe.com slash docs. Yeah. Stripe.com slash docs. So That'll take us there. confident. Okay. Right. And then uh, let's see. Oh, subscriptions. Yes. Let's go there. And where is it? Setup. Let's let's go to create subscriptions. I like that one. I think where, that's where where over to the left. There we go. But not that left. Where? Oh, my gosh. There right we go. Here. OK. OK, here, so, let's drop a link here just so people can help. <laughs> yes. OK. All right. All right. So we did the setup stripe part. With Postman. we created a business model and added our branding. Got we our created branding. a session. Got we're we're creating our session. Oh, oh, okay. oh, here it is. If we go up a little bit, step three. There we go. That's that's okay. Step three and a half. <laughs> this part. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So some of this stuff is a little different than what we're doing. But let's see. The part that we want is we want the mode to be subscription. Is that it? Oh, okay, cool. I think we literally just need to like change the mode to subscription. Change the mode to subscription. Okay. Yeah. Or like, hold on one second. I'm sorry. I'm 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 a little confused too. Let's. Oh, we have a question. Yeah. Does Stripe Does... work in Europe? Do we ever? Yes, absolutely. Um, depends Willie on the country. Geertz. Oh, it depends okay. on the country. So that's a good question then. Which which country in Europe? But we Ooh. totally do. OK, so I am here in mode subscription. That's what you were looking for. So I'll mm -hmm. go back to Postman. And on this request, we're mm -hmm. looking for mode instead of payment. Subscription. Do you think that works? I think so. Oh, yeah. do you know if Stripe works in Belgium? Uh, actually, don't know that one. We have a page somewhere that shows all of the different countries. I, I feel like we do. Because payment works country. differently in every um, area, right? It does. And that's like the probably the main benefit of Stripe is like the payments all work differently, but the API just generally works the same. So go API team. Oh, oh, we got something from CJ Avila. He's we saying that we set oh interval. Yes. Line items, price data. Good call. Line items, price data, recurring interval. Yep. But we got to go to line item one, uh, zero. That's a different line item. Oh, oh, good eye there too. Oh, I didn't even realize that this was um, on different line items. Yeah. So we only have one line item. So we're looking for, I literally forgot what they said. Uh, line items, price data, recurring interval. Oh, there we go. Month. Month. There we go. Wait, are we assuming that this is monthly cat subscription? I think so. How often cats need socks? That's How the often question. do they change the socks? Ooh. That's a oh, very Belgium good question. Belgium is a mess. Banks are very protected. Yeah, well, maybe as we're going through this, um, Charles, you can look up whether or not you have Belg Belgium, Belgian stripe. OK, so I think with help from the audience, we are setting line items. 
um, recurring interval at month in line items for our first line item, which is cat socks. And then mm -hmm. we also uh, change the mode from payment to subscription. So I'm going to hit send. Oh, bad request. Okay, hold on, hold on. What happened? Uh, maybe, did I do card? What? It's upset at us again? Uh, yeah, let's check it. It must, Is it must card? be cards. Yeah. Oh, maybe. you know what? I probably didn't save. Ah. Uh, That'll and it duplicated it. what's not saved? Is that how it works? I don't even remember where card was. Oh, okay. oh yes, oh, that's what it yeah. was. Wow, interesting. So I'm going to save. I'm also going to save this one for one-time payments. I'm going back to subscriptions, and I will okay. try again. All right, let's see it. Okay, okay. We oh, we have a question. Does Stripe work in Africa? The whole, every single country in Africa, do you know? Uh. I don't know if it's every single country in Africa, but we did recently, I think there's Paystack and they work in Africa and they're like the Stripe of Africa. And I think they're also technically a part of Stripe. Now, so now, yes, now what no countries are you particularly curious in? And CJ yeah. did verify that Belgium is supported. Yes. And Willie Geertz is talking about the rate of cat consumption of these socks. So let's go check out our test hmm. form for subscription. I'll drop a link here so people can buy our fake socks. This is a test site, so don't enter your credentials. Wait. Yeah. Oh, it didn't save the <laughs> it didn't save the rate. Oh yeah. Okay, let's change it. Let me close this. This is very important that we're not overcharging our customers for cat socks. Where was it? Price line. It's like a okay, mile. Here. There we go. What did we say? Yeah. 50 cents? 50 cents. Yep. Per, well, if it's subscription, should we charge more or less? Do you know how that works? Capitalist in me says more. More the for cal the convenience, right? Exactly. Okay. We're using uh, Stripe as a calculator. <laughs> Let's see what that gets us on a monthly rate. And I'll save it this time so I don't forget. Okay. Scroll to the bottom, get our right. test form. All right. Cat socks. Perfect. Yes, that feels good. That's reasonable. Reasonable. That's totally reasonable. That's two cats, right? Well, it depends on the rate of consumption. Ah, that's a good point. Yes. Okay, oh, yeah. so we set up one-time payments, we set up subscriptions. Wow, I feel like I had a list of things I wanted to go through and we are tearing through it. And this is all good, but this people can't send me money, right? And I want to make money. How do I roll this into my, actually, we should ask the um, chat again. Okay, do you know about Ghana? Uh, Off the top know. of your head. <laughs> Maybe you can Off look that up while head. we're continuing and uh, pay, you are related to Paystack, you think? Yeah, pretty sure we are, pretty sure um oh we, check your balances is a suggestion from john's work alias we can see if he bought the socks let's, on the test let's one the test one well we can see test transactions in like you can fill out that form and test it out and you'll get like a fake balance and everything so if john did it then we'll see it okay so john's purchased many socks let's go see the ch i love how we just get sidetracked people are suggesting things but john's work alias wins for let's Verify the balance. All right. Oh, it, so, I'm guessing it's under balance. <laughs> yep. Or balance or balance retrieve balance. Let's okay, see. I actually, if that, you think it's this one? I think it's that one. I think that might list everything. We could also go to the dashboard. We could also like, I don't know, um, list out all of our payment intents. What's so, dashboard? It doesn't start with D. Oh, like the actual, like the actual dashboard. Oh, the actual right. dashboard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's, let's try it by um, API first, and then yeah. we will try it by like verifying that it's in the dashboard. So I'm okay. going to duplicate this one. I'm going to do Arlami's suggestion by having that at the top. Oh no, I guess I'll still star that one. Hmm. I wonder if I can drag this. Yeah. Uh, 
There we go. Hey. If this doesn't work, I will be very upset. It's not going to work. There's no line. Oh, that's... Now I'm going to accidentally drop it in your... Okay, I'll just do it like that. Okay. Sorry for wasting everyone's time, folks. Let me drag this down. Yep. That's... Arlen, he's saying unstar and star in the other order. I did, I thought. I thought I starred in the proper order. I'll try it after I get my balance. I want to see my money from John's work alias. Okay, so I'm retrieving a balance. Mm -hmm. My base URL's popped. My authorization is there. And I probably yeah. need my form ID or something. Oh, no. We'll just, you're just going to grab, I think, all of the balances. All balances. Okay. Let's, let's, see, let's see what we get here. I don't <gasps> actually use this API too often. What's going on here? could not get I think that's a real API endpoint so we should be able to get it oh gosh there's a lot of uh commentary recently starred at the top rename actually renaming would probably work cat socks kickstarter <laughs> Willie Geertz critical of kickstarters Yes, we are a huckster. We are hucksters selling cat socks. So let's try to get this to work. Now yeah. we have base URL reading incorrectly. Going to fee one balance. Auth was correct. It doesn't look like there was any required variables. Let's just try it nope. again in case. Oh, okay. There we go. So there it works. La okay. boom. Look, we got a pending balance. Is this sense? Yeah, it's all sense. It makes sense to me. Ha. <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> okay, so if we knew how to do math, we would be able to calculate how many socks um, were purchased. But in this case, it aggregates all of the pending balances, so I can't see if they were one-time purchases or subscriptions, correct? You can't. There, There is a way to do that. So like, if you just want your balance information, like how much money you have in your account, like that's the way to do it. If you wanna see like your individual transactions, I think uh, there are a few different ways to do it. Uh, let's see. We could use, we could use, uh, we could get the charge. That's what a lot of people do. They just like, oh, like line up. items. Yeah. Like if we go to charge, do you want to see the line items specifically? No, I don't actually care about how much money I'm making because we are making $0. <laughs> while this sits in my test account, I want to get okay. this live and running and then start collecting money from the audience. Okay, so we need to do that. That's that is the priority. It's very important let's, to me. Let's do that. We got to get we got to get paid. Okay, we got to make so money. We have to make money. Okay, so I like have this really basic site on like basic glitch thing. And we can like fill in uh, what we've done here and like put it there. And like we'll have a site that we can give people and then they can like pay us we'll pay you okay yes pay me correct correct okay so send me your glitch site if you wouldn't mind yes and glitch we've used before on the stream that's just um setting up a back end on glitch perfect so let's see oh a question can you pay in dogecoin what can you pay in um, you can pay in a lot of different things. You can pay in cards, uh, tons of different bank debit methods. Uh, you can but the pay crypto. In... Tell us about the crypto. Crypto? I don't think you can pay in crypto. Not anymore. <gasps> I think at one point you could actually pay in crypto, but not anymore. I'd be surprised if you guys don't support like, um, well, maybe there's legal reasons because you guys have to cover so many different um, like countries and stuff like that okay so i'm here in a glitch that you've spun up yep so that is my glitch so how we'll did you use... get from like the api's working to like i'm gonna look in your server js mm -hmm. and i'm looking at your routes mm -hmm. 
Yes. So how did we get there? Um, so I've done no work here. It is literally just a basic page with some routes that we should probably like fill out. Mm -hmm. But the, the general workflow is like you go in Postman, you make sure your parameters are right, because you saw there are a lot of parameters. And once you have that, you can uh, use the Stripe SDK to like very quickly like make an API call. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take what we did in Postman, translate it to like a Stripe SDK call, and then um, once that's done, right, um, the checkout button will do a post request to our create checkout session. We'll make an API call. We'll get, we'll grab the URL from the response. Uh, and then we'll just like redirect the user. Um, we'll redirect the user that way. So yes, we should definitely look at the SDK. Okay, so I feel like um, a lot of companies do publish SDKs because it makes it much easier. It in a, it encapsulate or yeah, it encapsulates what you do with the API, but a little bit easier with like methods and stuff like that. A little bit more. Uh, yeah. Yes, but I'm, we're gonna do a quick hack here. Yeah. Since you already have the subscriptions with checkout page open, like let's hop into that one because. All of our examples, we like have them in multiple languages. So if you go to go back to the subscriptions, we'll check out the tab to the left. Right. So you see this like snippet right here. You can just pick node from the top. So this is Ruby, but you can go to node mm -hmm. and you can legitimately just like copy this. Um, copy like maybe lines nine through 24 as a base and then just like kind of switch it out a little bit. So you first need to require it, right? Yeah, you do. And then uh, pop in your key like, oh, yeah. pop in your key like that. Yep. And then this is the actual, um, this creates a session, right? Yep. Okay, so I needed all of this, no? Um, you, or actually you do need the uh, strike, you do need require. line three. Yeah, so you should just grab all of it. We're not gonna use line seven, but. Seven, yeah. Yeah, three through 24 is pretty good. Okay, so one thing I do like about the Stripe docs, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is my actual key in here, correct? It is. Yes, so I don't need to like plug it in. So let's go to Glitch. Wait, can I? I need a remix to edit. You do. Right, okay. Yeah. So what, is this live? You can do it on your end? Yeah, I can do it on my end, definitely. Okay, um, so that's one way to do it. And I'm pretty sure I've done this before in live streams where the glitch, uh, you just update an example and you can remix it. Um, mm -hmm. Do you know about the client code generation, Charles? No, tell me, tell me about it. Tell me more. Well, so I personally like using um, SDKs. So where is that? Is that here? So by requiring an SDK and then I'm able to use very simple things like stripe.checkout. blah 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 sessions that create. I love mm -hmm. using SDKs, but there's also a time and a place to just use to have a standalone. So say I'm I have a very light script or something. Mm -hmm. So what was that one? The subscription, right? Yep. So That's here's the, the request that we got working. We saw the request the response on the bottom. We got a 200 okay. And this little do hicker on the side allows me to replicate what were node was it request framework yeah i think so so this is of course you need to use requests but here's that oh okay so here's all my print i haven't seen one with so many parameters before mm. <laughs> is why i was like this looks weird um but this is the code code generation for the client side call um the uh the client side call and so you can see the headers you can see your my key again. Oh, how many times will I show my key? Uh, and then you also have all the parameters that are exported. So that's one way to do it. The glitch way is fantastic. The glitch way meaning demonstrating using the Stripe SDK, mm -hmm. uh, exporting the raw client code. Um, and then the other way to do it, I think, is probably, there's probably more. Tell us if there's more ideas that you have for implementing this in an actual app. I like mm. using just bare API calls <laughs> sometimes yeah. um, for retrieving balance or something like that. That way I don't need to potentially go to the Stripe dashboard to see my balance. I don't need to log in or something if I'm already doing development. Actually, 100%. we never looked at our balance. Do we want to look at it? 
we could like yeah go to home real quick and where's my money oh uh, that's weird where is your money let's go did it expire no it shouldn't uh where's to, my money where's go to payments maybe it's in payments it's probably like pending or something oh. Oh. there we go okay yes yeah, so clearly this one is john's work alias i yep. totally know and i hope we didn't just reveal <laughs> somebody's email address <laughs> sorry um and there were two payments done mm -hmm. what's this one incomplete so like that's that four dollar one that we never finished and then it expired so oh okay interesting yeah. okay so they will eventually expire because it's just the test app well yeah the some the, even in production like if you have like a link and no one uses it you generate it and no one uses it it like it will expire um if if it's not action so but they even all in have production to yeah like if you have like a if you generate like a checkout link and then you send it to a user, you redirect the user and they do nothing, like it'll just, it'll expire after five minutes and it's only single use. So like in production, you would um, generate a, a new link for every single new transaction. Um, Got it. Yeah, they're not okay. stateful. Hey, uh, let me just pop us out of screen share for one moment because mm -hmm. your face is very small and I just want to see your face. Okay. And I'll bring the chat on, uh, so feel free to go ahead and uh, feel free to provide your color commentary or ask questions. I So we do have a list of things that we could possibly like secret challenge, not secret, they're not secret because I know about them, but additional challenges to go through for the rest of the stream. We have about like a little under half an hour and mm -hmm. there's a couple things that we can do. Um, I will let the chat decide what we want to do. I think we can continue along the lines of updating an app and showing how you take the actual code that we're testing with rolling it into an app. We can, um, I think uh, Charles, you had suggested maybe doing a promo code, issuing a promo code. So maybe during this live stream, I wanna have a promotional code so that people get a discount on my cat socks. But then after the stream is over, the pro promotion goes away. Um, uh, okay, Willie Geertz has a question. API.example.com. Isn't that just a placeholder for a yeah. fake? It is. So, I mean, yeah, I don't think it matters too much. But I do think this is a um, rest pattern question, which I don't know the answer to. If anybody in the uh, audience knows the answer to it, I believe... Uh, I believe Willie Geertz is correct that api.example.com is better for the base URL. However, then beyond that, it's going to be like slash cancel slash. What was the other one? Renew? Success? Success. Yeah. <laughs> slash they're like success. actual pages, though. That's the thing. Like, so generally, it would, you'd still be on the same domain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a couple other things that you mentioned. I, I fall asleep when people talk about taxes, but what I did what? think was interesting, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I am tax illiterate, but it's new. So people might be interested in seeing what's new with the Stripe API, especially if they already know the Stripe API. Hmm. Um, so chat, let us know what you want to work on next. Um, I, I feel like I've, I've worked with the Stripe API before to get, um, when Postman has a new team created or something, somebody checks out, has a checkout, then I wanted to pipe that through to a sales gong and like have the gong, like just a little servo motor go gong, gong. Hmm. Um, so I've done that before. How would you, how would you do that? Would you, is there a web hook or is there? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. There are web hooks. I have a question for you now. Yeah. Yeah. How do, can we like, do things with webhooks with Postman? Is that a thing? If it is. Yeah, so you guys already have a webhook, which means potentially you just need to direct, um, you guys monitor the events, and then mm -hmm. once an event is triggered, then you just need a URL to call. And yeah. what a URL to call in Postman, what a webhook is, is you trigger it by triggering a monitor run, which is a collection on Postman Cloud. So, um, 
I would love to set up a sales gong. I don't have my IoT device right now. We are clearly not doing it on this stream. Maybe I'll invite you back and we can set up my sales gong. Yes. Um, and you can tell how much money is rolling in. Uh, we do have a question. Tax is new for Stripe. Uh, selling yes. a product for X amount. I don't know tax things. What is the new um, new with the tax offering? Yeah, so like one of the things that's like really difficult with like selling stuff online is like there are tax laws, like you can't just sell things uh, and not give the government its cut. So, um, but it's also not super straightforward. Like, for example, like you're in California, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you were selling socks, you'd have to pay some tax rate. I assume it's high because you're in California. But if you were like selling, I don't know, like um, courses on how to make cat socks, uh, that's a digital good and the tax rate is zero. Is that true? I feel mm -hmm. like the, surely the government wants my cat sock tutorial money. They, it's like, it's weird. That's the thing. Like it's weird and random. It makes no sense at all. So um, rather than trying to keep that in your head because it's, ter it's terrible, um, Stripe Tax just kind of does it for you. It knows the regulations. And so if I mark it as digital good versus like, I don't know, not digital good. Yep. Okay. So there's some questions. What's I've heard of VAT, but I don't know what VAT is. Uh, in most European countries, selling product is a uh, twenty one percent. Oh, VAT. Oh, is VAT synonymous with tax? I think is, so. Is the Value key tax? tax? <laughs> so there's a digital goods uh, VAT for six percent. Interesting. What is yeah. the tax situation where you live? Uh, for me, I think it's like, I think I would be taxed. I don't know if it's different though. It's like, I think it's like 10.25% since I'm in Seattle. So how does Stripe know um, base, how does Stripe uh, assign those rules? Is it where I am based as the Stripe account holder? Mm -hmm. It is like, you have to be registered in a certain area. Um, you, you'd be like registered in an area. I'm, I'm not a tax person. Um, I'm just deeply pa passionate about Tell taxes. Tell us more about taxes. No, yeah. but I didn't put anything about my location in when I set up my account. Yeah, you would have to do that. So you'd set up in Stripe Tax, you set up where you're registered to like remit taxes and stuff like that. And then based on that, you'd have like a menu of different things that you could like select that you're selling. Or if you only sell one thing, you'd be like, I only sell like, you know, videos or I only sell like, Cat you know, whatever. And it would just like give you a tax on every the same tax, the appropriate tax for everything that you sell, or you could do it at a product level and it would assign the right tax based on how the product was like categorized. So. I see. Um, so we do have some tax experts in the audience. Tan Mayo is saying value added tax. So it is indeed T does stand for tax. Mm -hmm. Um, as a web shop, you need to take into account digital goods and also where I guess the account owner is based. And Arlami said, I did put myself in LA. Like I, that slipped past me that stripe. That was very slick of you to, um, yeah. Oh, same form as when I had to verify when I could have verified my phone number. Oh, interesting. So interesting, Charles, you've gotten me very excited about taxes. Now let's just take a peek at the tax portion of the API. So I'm going to share my, and also because nobody suggested anything else. So I'm going to take the yeah. chat again off screen for a bit. I'm so sorry, but um, we will soon have, um, Charles, please keep an eye on the chat. I will keep an eye on the chat. Okay. Thank okay. You. So we got to go back into the Stripe settings now. Okay. Oh, into settings? Yeah. We got to like set up all of our things related to taxes. So oh, we're going to go gosh. to settings. And then I think there was like a tax, tax. thing there. Yes. Let's What's go there. What's GST, I wonder? goods something goods, tax services, tax services and then get started that's just some pricing information we won't charge you we don't even have your credit card information right now so you can't get charged but so i can avoid taxes by not entering my credit card information excellent okay so get started <laughs> yep get started okay and it's going to ask you for origin. your origin address what is our origin story our origin story. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. So here's where I would actually put in, um, do I need to yeah. fill this whole thing out? I suppose you do, but you can just put in anything. I generally put in like one, two, three fake street. 
you know, Beverly Hills. One, two, three, what? Fake Street. Oh, I thought you said Fig. I like Fig Street better. Oh, be that's that's an improvement. Beverly Hills, 90210, call it a day. The only zip code I know. It's the most important well, we one. We probably need a state. California? No. Oops. Okay. Yep, we're totally registered. So totally registered. registered. We should. Immediately? Immediately. Add reg. I've just added a new registration. Yes. Uh, okay. And so, let's see, really, Garrett's, Garrett's, am I saying that right? Can I do that on my real Stripe account without being banned? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, um, okay. Okay. We're setting so a bad example. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Our default, that's the big one, right? Like if you just want to say everything is a certain thing, this okay. is the one we select. There's like a list. Uh, oh. Uh, like clothing or something. Holy cow. There's like infrastructure as a service. 100%. So you if I was Postman, it would be like either pass or SAS, right? Yep. Okay. Games, audiobooks. Ebook on cat sock making. Oh, so this is how they determine the proper tax treatment because it's so granular. Yep. Cleaning services, cat cleaning. We could. Residential cat versus commercial cat. Did you see pet boarding? We pet, grooming. pet grooming. Boarding. Yes, we can start a cat hotel. That is a oh thing. Oh my gosh, cat hotel. Temporary helps. Okay, so uh, sorry, we were selling socks, which is what goods? Clothing? I don't know. Clothing? Clothing. Clo yeah, footwear. We footwear. There we go. Cloth Perfect. Um, Post. There's some coins. somewhere you can say say. I'm, I'm sure we can um, do an initial coin offering for Postman coins, and then all the money will come to me. <laughs> you can trust me. Okay, so default shipping. You said we should save this. Yeah, let's see. I think there might it might save automatically. Let's see. There's no save button. I think it saved automatically in that okay. case. Shipping. We need to ship these products because it's a tangible good. We do. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, enable. Yep. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Now we okay. just need to like update our API calls. Oh. When and we because, create a, a form? Uh, yeah, we do. Let's see. Uh, I think it's, I think it's pretty f straightforward. Let's see if we go into the body and let's see, we scroll all tax. the way up to the tax top. rates. No. Oh, it's, it's not that one. We're going to make tax rates. Not even that one. It's, it's automatic tax. Oh, and Boolean. Yeah. That's easy. Yep. So Unless if I you... don't have that set up, um, mm -hmm. this will fail, correct? 100%. It'll be like, you can't do this. OK, so I'm going to do this just because I think people later on will follow along. So I will duplicate and say this is going to be with tax. Now, with tax. I've, I have not tested this yet, so we're doing this live. We're both learning today. Well, yeah. That's the only way to do it. <laughs> okay, I'll say true. Save. Yep. Send. Bad. Oh, is it the card? Oh, no. What is okay. Oh, oh, hold on. Let's see. Do not one or more prices do. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to our line items. Okay. There's probably like a line items tax behavior thing that we just did not do. Uh, tax behavior. There we go. But what should the thing be? I automatic. I thought it said, wait, let's see what the thing said. Yeah. What does it say? If we throw it a value and it's wrong, it'll tell us what the right value could be. I think is your, is your API so smart? I think it is. Okay. Got... I'll leave string. Let's see if anything is here. Yeah. It might no, also the be there thing. though. It's the same thing. Okay. Let's just try send. Yeah. Bad request. Ah, there we go. Let's okay. go exclusive. Exclude what's I don't know what that means. So inclusive is like inclusive is what we wish prices were where it's like if you pay twenty dollars it includes the tax and exclusive is like twenty dollars plus ten percent for some weird number. 
So let's go exclusive. Exclusive is what we generally see. Okay. Yeah. So we are in tax behavior exclusive. Send. Okay. 200. Boom. Okay. So should we go to the form? Will it show it? Oh, 100%. It should. Let me save it before I forget. Yeah. And then we are replacing this form with our new tax. Okay. Okay. So you oh. have to enter it an address to calculate. So it's it uses your origin address and then also the customer's address. So where it says billing address, if you like just put anything there, random One, stuff two, there. three. Yes. Big street. <laughs> Wait, it has to be different, right? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Of, oh, it doesn't, okay. No, absolutely not. Beverly Hills. Dun, that's a song. Okay. We're here in Belgium too. Uh, what? Yep. Someone yeah, if you have it. an address in Belgium, Willie G, just give us a fake. How do I? Surely there's a one, two, three fig street in Belgium. There 100% is. Wait, how do you? Yeah, let's do it international. Somebody internationally wants my cat socks. Belgium. It's in USD. What? Though, so. Yeah, you got to pay USD. I'm not taking Bel Belgium coin. I guess I guess in Belgium, you don't have to pay taxes. I don't know. What? Let's see. Do we How need do a you... postal code? I don't know postal code. Willie G, what's oh, okay? Oh, we're sending. Okay, I gotta manually. We're type getting real this. addresses right now. Uh, well, I gotta manually type it because I can't. Oh, I... That's not even an address, is it? I don't think it is. Antwerp. We're learning postal code, please. Two thousand. Is that a real? Yeah, we need a postal code. What's a good postal code? Because I think it's not the calculating. Code, it might actually matter. Like, the postal code might matter in in Belgium. Willie G, please put a real postal code. Should I Google this? Two thousand uh, is Antwerp. This is correct. Am I okay. doing it wrong? Do I need to put a name here and everything? I I'm you know, I'm gonna be honest. I have never tried to do it in that <laughs> before, so. Well, it's determined by billing information. Maybe it needs to be, oh my gosh, let's, I'm let's showing assume. you my credit cards. Okay, okay, let's assume the United States. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, US. Let's go back to the US. Because uh, this, is a, this is a real form that will not actually accept actual money, but uh, it does have like Google Pay enabled. And it all validates, yeah, as yeah. well it should. All right, let's see. Okay, see, there we got some taxes. Ooh, Antwerp, California is 41 cents, and it yep. calculates the rate. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. That's so you're thing. saying if I put, like, a different address, it'll... Well, no, tax should be the same in the U.S., correct? Or actually, it's not. No. I think okay. so. Tax. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. <laughs> It's so fun, right? Taxes. And then it just adds it to the $4 or not yep. $4. I can't do math. 480. It clearly says right there. Okay. All right. All right. Is there anything else we wanted to tackle with tax? Tax. Anybody was there a specific, um, I thought there was a tax folder. Yes. Like if you wanted to make your own tax rates for some reason and do it manually, you could. Arlemy is asking if we can ta tackle Arlemy's taxes, and the answer is absolutely not. I'm sorry. Arlemy, I'll do your taxes for you. I don't know. Based on what I've seen on the screen, Arlemy, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, no. And you can create a custom tax rate, too. So, like, maybe if it's not in your system, then I can, like, uh, hard code it or something. You that's could, nice. like, because, yeah, you could, like, build your own tax logic if you wanted to and, like, assign it to individual products and stuff. Beverly but, Hills. But we haven't created any tax rates, so we probably won't get one. Or at least I don't think we'll no, get one. No, these are the default tax rates, no? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. False. Yep. You have to make some. I see, I see, okay. Yeah. Well, that's less exciting. Well. More exciting if you do them wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good you point. I'll leave today. this in here just in case somebody 
comes upon this stream after the fact and wants to dig more into taxes. That's kind of interesting. I didn't think I would learn. I mean, not that I didn't think I would learn today, but um, I didn't think that I would learn about taxes today. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And I'm going to bring on the chat. Hello, chat. Hello. Um, we have Willie G saying, <laughs> doing taxes with a Stripe calculator. Yeah. Some off, off, uh, off label recommendations for using the API. Um, so I'm going to drop a link to Stripe's, um, public workspace. Yep. Stripe dev. You guys did a really good job. I know that, um, again, a lot of, like Arlami said it too, a lot of times people like developer companies, developer tool companies, people that work with developers are, mm -hmm. uh, look to your team for like documentation, developer experience and stuff like that. Even your API, like clearly like we had cards saved wrong several times in it. Your error messages are pretty good. Do you have any input into like that type of developer experience, like error messages? I don't. Um, they're, I, I, I honestly don't. I take them as magic and I just appreciate that like I can throw the API just the wrong values and it would literally just correct me. There that's are some why, APIs. Yeah, that's why we didn't have to look through the docs because yeah. you were like, just try it and then <laughs> with like, like the, just the placeholder value and it'll tell us what is required. Yeah, there are some APIs where like if you put in, you're like typing in an address and if you misspell it, it'll be like, I thought, I think you meant this. Um, I don't know. It's pretty, it's pretty Did neat. Did you mean, like it's it. almost like autocomplete. It's a little bit um, spooky, but on the other hand, it's super helpful if you're just kind of like, I don't really want to read the docs. I just want to interact with it. Okay. Okay. Willie G is saying we're in the process of going API first in the company and error messages are hurting my brain. Yes. Yes. Oh, and John's work alias is buying more socks. <laughs> if I know John's work alias, I'll bet, I'll bet they wrote a monitor. This is what you were asking about, Charles, whether or not mm -hmm. you can trigger a webhook and a webhook is just a monitor. I'll bet they wrote a collection and just looped on it, creating, I'll check, I'll check my balance after this stream if that test account is still up. Um, okay, so we got through a lot and I think it's, we have a nice little baby collection. So I'll drop it in a different public workspace if anybody wants to fork it and take a peek through it. Um, I have two questions for you, Charles. What is new coming with Stripe's API that you are able to share? Anything that you're excited about? And then we always like to end with shout outs. So are you able to share anything that's new with the Stripe API? Sure, I can let you, oh man, that's always tough because there's so many things. It's hard to keep in my head which things I can talk about, and which things I can't. But um, let's see, I know that, so I showed you, we showed checkout, right? Mm -hmm. And checkout, you're like building this link or whatever. Um, and you have to generate it every single time. We have something very similar, like a low code, no code solution called payment links. And right now it's like a link that you can send someone and it, it's, you, you can keep it. It's like a permanent link, right? You can just send it, you make it once, send it to people and they can pay you. Um, right now you can only do it with the dashboard, but in the future, you will be able to do it with the API, which will be pretty neat. So how do you decide, uh, this is a little philosophical, but how do you decide to build it out in the dashboard before the API? I thought you guys were like an API, like not first because that's, well, yeah, API first kind of, how do you make that decision? And not you, but like the team. Yeah, so I know the product manager that, that did a lot of that work and I haven't had the chance to talk to him, but um, based on our conversations, I think it's like, who is probably going to end up using it the most in the most natural use case. So with the case of like payment links, like that's a re that's a low code solution. It's like so that you can have the least amount of friction possible when you're starting links, because like we're all developers here, but there are plenty of people out there that don't even want to touch Postman or code or anything in general. Sacrilege. They just want to get their yes. money. Yeah. So we, we built that first because if for the developers like us, you know, we can, we can roll with checkout and we'll be fine. Um, so I think that was the prioritization. If I because it's, it's that. intended to be a low code, no code tool for a low code, no code audience. For now. Yeah. But yeah. when, once the API, once there's an API, you'll have that experience for developers as well. But in the meantime, as you saw one API call with checkout and you're, you're there. How, 
I, I totally get it and I don't mean to harp on it, but I'm just curious because we have you here. How long mm -hmm. do you think it'll take before something like that gets built out? Like, like at Postman stuff comes out like really, really fast. However, some stuff takes like quite a while because of, because of dependencies and things like that. Like in your opinion, like, is it a while or is it, is it a fast follow? Uh, I think it, that's a good question. I actually don't know. I think like our culture is, is similar. Like we want to be always shipping all the time. Um, but there are so many different things that are like happening. Um, for example, like we're releasing in new countries. So if someone was asking like, are you in Belgium? Where I think we're in 30 plus countries at the moment, but we want to be in as many countries as possible. So it's always like balancing that with like new, like expansion with like, you know, new product features. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. I would hope that it would come by the end of the year. So, yeah. So we can look forward to that. That's pretty, hold me to it, though. pretty sweet. No, definitely. This is unofficial. <laughs> no one's here. No one's watching. All right. Um, so uh, we're doing fantastic on time in the audience. If you have any shout outs that you want to give, feel free to drop them. I know sometimes like there's events coming up or content that like maybe people are interested in. Go ahead and drop your shout outs in the chat. And uh, Charles, closing thought of the day, do you have any shout outs that you want to give? It could be something that you're really into now. It could be like if you read a book or something. Oh, I have a book. I'm not done with it yet though. But yeah, do you have any shout outs? Let's see, uh, shout outs. What's a good, I am reading a book, but I like haven't picked it up in a minute. You don't I'm have gonna, to pretend like you're reading if you don't actually read. I don't Just actually, like, it's like literally, it's like window dressing. Like I have it near my bed. I never yeah, picked it up. It's so inspiration. I'm, or TV, like some people like TV, any shows? All right, I'm gonna give a shout out to The White Lotus because I literally just like blew through that series in like two days. What is the what is that book? It's a it's a show, The The White Lotus is on uh, HBO Now or something like that. It's a really good show, a lot okay. of feeling. If it's on H, I'll, I'll check it out. So White Lotus, there is like shows. I do have to give a shout out and to do this, I'm going to share my screen and it's going to be very small, but you'll be able to see it. So John's work alias <laughs> has been very persistent to check the balance. And do you want to take a guess? We're playing Price is Right rules. Charles, how much revenue do you think I have in my account right now? Uh, oh, my goodness. Is this um, real time? Do I have to refresh? A okay. million dollars? What this is Price is, Rice, Price is Right price oh is this cents no this is usd oh, okay willie go, with the... go ahead and bet or place your wager i bet a thousand dollars john seems like a aggressive buyer of cat socks a thousand dollars okay arlami has is losing by prices right uh <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and show it oops i did the wrong way hold on oh 45 is good What's that? Forty-five thousand. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am making money from my cat socks. You are rich. This is pretty sweet. Um, thank you very much. Uh, John's work alias is our the biggest patron of our cat sock products. So um, we are we are forever grateful. So next week for next week's stream, I believe Arlami will be back and we're going to be doing something with the Salesforce um, API. And I think they will also have some sort of um, online retailing situation. However, um, I am kind of inspired to build my own web product to sell something just to see what it's like to use the Stripe API, but for my own, I mean, clearly Postman uses Stripe, but like, use it for an actual side hustle. So, all right, so we'll see you next week. Thank you so much, Charles, for coming on and um, check out the Stripe public workspace. If you haven't already seen it, let us know what you're building. And with that, thank you very much. Goodbye, Charles. Bye, thanks for having me. Goodbye, I will see you next week, everyone.